Today I'm going to show you what to do if your ABS brake light comes on. Now practically all modern cars have anti-lock brake systems or ABS. And when the light comes on if you're driving it means there's a problem and a code is stored inside the computer. Here's how the system works. When you're driving and you step on the brake hard, the ABS system prevents the wheels from locking up and then skidding on the road. All the wheels have sensors on them to tell the computer what the speed of each wheel is and if the computer ABS system sees that one wheel has stopped moving and the other wheels are moving it will pulse the brake on the wheel that's skidding so that it won't skid anymore. In theory it's a simple system but of course it's all run by computers so in order to figure out what's wrong you have to have a fancy computer like this. But for your own peace of mind these ABS systems are fail safe so if your ABS light comes on and your ABS system isn't working anymore it reverts to normal non ABS brakes and I've been driving my old cars for years without ABS brakes so it doesn't mean that much to me and I live in Houston so we don't get much snow and ice so I don't have to worry about skidding on snow and ice very often maybe four times in the last 40 years but if you want to figure out what's wrong with the ABS you get one of these scan tools or have somebody who has one plug it into the dash and as you can see it's found a fault in the ABS system. It found a trouble code. It has an open or short in the ABS solenoid relay circuit. Now without such a scan tool you're never going to figure out what's wrong so you got to have one or pay a guy that has one to analyze such ABS problems. And I have to admit that I cheated here because the ABS in these Lexuses I've never seen one actually break unless it was in a wreck or a flood. I pulled the fuse for the relay and that's why the light came on. Now if it had been a more complex problem check out all the information this thing can go through. It can go through a lot of testing. The wheel speed sensor was bad it'll show you that it's not showing speed while the other ones do. You can do all kinds of tests with one of these machines but you can't do it without it. And sometimes it's super expensive parts like this ABS modulator that can be more than $1600. But as I said earlier they are fail safe systems. When the system stops working it goes back to normal non ABS braking. So if it comes on while you're driving down the road you don't have to stop driving the car. If it's snowy and icy you got to be a lot more careful but you can still drive the car. So now you know what it means when your ABS light comes on. Instead of freaking out use a little knowledge to understand what's going on. And remember, if you have car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.